You're nobody's fool. Nice form. Haunting. Well done. Clever. I can't believe they pushed through to here. Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. Let's get to the harbor and finish off the leader of the Alliance. to slack off. Look, the Imperial Army Supply Corps. Attacking now would be a fine plan. Keep me alive. Big help. 
Thank you. Another victory. Just like that. I shall not stray. Destiny unfurls. I am only just beginning. <laughs> Nothing bites so hard as a cornered rat, eh? the eyes.
You took me lightly. I must continue my training. Done. Onward. It's my duty. Next. 
I fight and grow stronger. Only natural. Things depend on you. You were unprepared. Don't expect forgiveness. Your very presence has foiled our plans yet again. Allow me to demonstrate! a weapon against your uncle. You've grown into a savage of a man, just like your father. You are rather calm for one in your position. Or did you forget that this is a battlefield? Perhaps this is no time for words, uncle. There will be time for that after we have settled things here. Do our hopes end here? I need to know. The incident nine years ago. You were involved, weren't you? You know something. What did Cornelia... No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family, after all. There it is. The light. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. Then again, even if we had managed to capture him alive, judging by the way he was acting... Teach is absolutely right. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. It's been a long time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you are safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? If you really felt that way, you would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the kingdom capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that. But it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You crossed too many dangerous bridges from my liking. I know, I know. But... that ends today. What do you mean? 
Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. The legendary bow fail not. Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Hold, Claude. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Leicester Alliance is no more. Just what are you planning, Claude? If you're going to lead Fodlin, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the Kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other Lords at the Roundtable Conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. I'm leaving Fodlan. There are things I have to do, dreams I need to see to fruition. That's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. You'd better not take on too many responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Oops, I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. You have my gratitude, Claude. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, we're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness. Well, Dimitri, are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? What are you talking about? Didn't Lord Arendelle say something about you and Edelgard being family? To claim that the King and the Emperor are related, could it be? Ah, I suppose I never told you, though I do recall mentioning it briefly to the Professor. Lord Arendelle spoke the truth. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Political turmoil drove my stepmother out of the Empire. Father fell in love with her at first sight, and they married. I lost my birth mother before I was old enough to remember her. My stepmother filled that role for me, but she lost her life in Dusker nine years ago, along with father. Hang on. I didn't even know she was your stepmother. Did my father know about this? Yes. All those who were close to my father knew, including Rodrigue. But to speak openly about it would have caused a scandal. And so she was our secret. No one in the general public knew about her. Naturally, the fact that Edelgard and I are step-siblings was kept a secret as well. I'm finally beginning to understand what you went through five years ago. I mean, Edelgard is the only family you have left, isn't she? To find out someone so precious to you is actually your most hated enemy. How heartbreaking. But wait! You two were born and raised in two different territories, right? So you probably never met until you were both at the Academy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the idea of fighting family is just about the worst thing ever. But hopefully the fact that she's a stepsister who you never really knew helps with the pain? I don't know. It was just a thought. I am afraid that's not the case. Though it was only for a short time, Edelgard once called Ferdia at home. It was a long time ago, but she was a cherished friend of mine. Wait! I remember now! She was that girl, wasn't she? The one you gave a dagger to! <laughs> so, your little girlfriend was Edelgard. Sylvain, if you have any more foolish things to say, please hold them for later. I do have a few more in my sleeve, but they can wait. Go on, your highness. This is important for us to hear. She may be a hated enemy now. But the Emperor is your old friend and your stepsister. Can you bring yourself to kill her? I will kill her, if I must. But if there is any chance that the world she seeks to create could be a just one, then I... 
I would love to see a future in which I may reach out my hand for her and have her reach back. That said, I have no intention of letting my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Too much is at stake. Your Highness, I think you should meet with the Emperor and at least try to talk to her. If there's any hope of ending this war without more bloodshed, we have to try. Besides, killing your own family... I'm sorry, but it's not right. I... I think so too. And you are right that we should at least try. I see. So my uncle's defeat is beyond doubt? Yes, Your Majesty. I have confirmed it via countless channels. I advise that we accept this as a drop of joy amid a pool of sorrow. Pretty words, but I'm afraid we can't rest until the joy outweighs the sorrow. And for that to happen, it now seems we must confront them all at once. Dimitri, who took back Ferdiad. Claude, who managed to protect the Alliance. And that professor, who was successfully mobilizing the Knights of Saros. What will you do, Your Majesty? Pull back our forces. In the west to Arian Road. In the east to... Fort Mercius, I presume. There is no better place for such a confrontation, after all. Indeed. And dispatch the Death Knight to guard it. He can buy us some time. In the meantime, I will... Forgive me, but I must speak bluntly. I do not agree with what you intend to do. Though slight, there is a chance that once done, it cannot be undone. Even I cannot always choose the direction my path leads me. There is no other way. And so, I must walk on. Part 2. Azure Moon. Blue Sea Moon. The Impregnable Fortress. When Claude steps down as its leader, the Leicester Alliance disbands and its lords swear fealty to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The chaos in the kingdom begins to dissipate as the people unite under Dimitri's rule. Riding this momentum, the Kingdom Army prepares to march south for a decisive battle against Imperial forces. We will finally have our decisive battle with the Empire this month. The Eastern Lords are in the process of consolidating all of the troops within the entire Kingdom. In addition, Ever since Aryan Road's liberation, the Western Lords have been declaring their fealty, one after another. Affairs within the Kingdom have calmed down considerably, and we even managed to win over the Alliance. Although it was a rough go at first, I'm starting to feel like we could actually win this. That's true. Thinking back on it now, we've really come a long way. We even have a lead as to where Rhea is located. It is as we predicted all along. If we are to rescue Rhea, then we must defeat the Emperor. Um, if we're going to march from the Monastery to Inbar, then we'll have to cross the Great Bridge of Murden again, right? Yes, I believe so. As we have gained the Alliance's support, we should not have any trouble this time. After the bridge, we can cross Grander Field and head south. And then we'll take Mercius, the so-called impregnable fortress that towers on the other side. Fort Mercius, I know of it. They say it rivals even Arian Road. Count Burglies, the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs, once had troops stationed there. But according to our spies, a large-scale military force has entered the stronghold. Perhaps they are gathering soldiers from various regions to compensate for their losses. If we try to avoid it, those troops will follow us and attack from the rear. It is best for us to handle the situation head on. Once we take Fort Mercius, Enbar will be within reach. This is the Empire's last chance to stop us from arriving at our goal. In other words, if we take this fort, then our blades will be at the Emperor's throat in no time. If this is the last fort between us and them, then the Emperor will likely do everything she can to strengthen its defenses. I just received a report on that very subject. 
The one commanding the troops stationed at Fort Mercius is someone we have crossed blades with many times. It is the Death Knight who awaits us there. Even in the kingdom, only a few people knew about His Highness and Edelgard's relationship. Me? I always knew those two to be like brother and sister. To think that we would come to see this world, where they are at war with one another. I live it, and can still barely imagine such a truth. I have a request. Thank you very much. Finally invading Empire territory, huh? There's not much we can do right now, except pray for deliverance. I truly believe that we have it in us to succeed. Fort Mercius is a keep that was constructed to defend the Imperial capital, Enbar. We cannot enter the capital without first capturing that fort. But once we have it, the city should be almost entirely at our mercy. Now that we know Rhea is there, we must move with the utmost urgency. Fort Mer we cannot now that we The Death Knight. I shudder to think of him. Professor, you remember my connection to him, do you not? I am still working through the trauma from back then. All these years later. If we meet him, I swear I will have my revenge. Each step closer to Enbar, I'm reminded of another part of my past. Riches and poverty, glory and failure. That city has it all. And if I'm honest, sometimes I miss it. That's how the past works though, isn't it? It's always a different story than what you really lived. Perseus is the Empire's single most fortified military installation. Utterly impregnable, they say. I wonder, do you happen to know the nickname given to Fort Mercius? That one is a fortress that stands at Fodlan's throat. Seems Fodlans give everyone and everything a nickname. Why, you were called the Ashen Demon. Myself, I have been called the Father of Christology, which is a nickname as well as a title, I suppose. Oh, each rich, that's how the... This point onward, we're in all-out war with the Empire. Are you prepared, Professor? I'm glad to hear it. That means we can approach the coming battles with peace of mind. First, we capture Fort Mercius. The fighting will undoubtedly be brutal, but we must prevail. As far as this army and I are concerned, you're our last ray of hope. We are relying on you. Claude has stepped down from leadership, and Lester is now a vassal state of Fargus. 
The lords of the Western Kingdom are beginning to declare fealty to us in greater numbers also. The Empire is our only remaining enemy. defeated Lord Arendelle. The Emperor must have been surprised. If we can keep up that fervor, perhaps we'll capture Fort Mercius and move on to the Imperial capital. We must not be overconfident, though. You're optimistic. Humans and beasts are ultimately the same. When they're cornered, they lash out however they can. They fight for their lives. Who knows how the Emperor will lash out? We have to be careful. Detour. It was time-consuming, but finally, we got the information we needed. We crush the Empire, we get Lady Rhea back. Two birds, one stone. First, we take Fort Mercius. I'll put my heart in it. I'll crack him like a rusty helmet. Hate me if you must. Meet your end. It is done. On to the next battle. me if you must. Hate me if you must. we suspected. Lady Rhea was taken to the Imperial capital. We must get to the capital as quickly as possible. So many people are worried sick about her. I do wonder when Claude managed to learn Lady Rhea's whereabouts. He's pretty shrewd. I can't help but admire him. I wonder where Claude will go. From the sound of it, he's leaving Fodlin altogether. He was strangely gallant about the whole thing. Even left his relic behind. Elusive and mysterious to the end, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> 